How's it going guys? It's me, back here again. Spoiler alert, sorry. I just came from Best Buy even though I shouldn't because of, you know, COVID. But, you know, since I was there I thought I was, you know, might as well get a few movies and oh boy did I get some movies. I was able to find a lot of 4K movies for $10. So, so yeah, here it is. Um, here we have The Gentleman on 4K. Honestly, I was planning on buying this on Blu-ray, but the 4K was 10 bucks, so I had to get it. Really love the movie. Guy Ritchie really, really is one of my favorite directors ever. And this movie is amazing. I highly recommend you watch it. And here we have the sole reason as to why I wanted to go to Best Buy, which is The Shining on 4K. I have been waiting for this release for so long. And then when it finally got out, it was way too expensive. So I patiently waited until the price was reasonable and as luck would have it, I found it for 10 bucks on 4K. Can't wait to rewatch this for like the billionth time, but on sweet, sweet 4K resolution. So, yep, The Shining. <laughs> and I also got VFW on 4K, cause 10 bucks. Now, again, I was gonna buy this one on Blu-ray, but um, I found it on 4K for $10. And the only reason I wanted to buy this is because it's supposedly inspired by John Carpenter, and if you follow me on Twitter, you would know that John Carpenter is my favorite director of all time. Like, number one. Love the guy. Yeah, I love the guy, so... Yep. Inspired by John Carpenter, found it on 4K. Weirdly, I found that this has full 4K Ultra HD and Blu-ray, but it doesn't have it on digital, which is weird, because usually... You know, they give you the three options. Maybe that's why it was cheap. That it doesn't have digital. But, uh, yeah. VFW. Haven't seen it. Hope it's good. Maybe I'll post a, uh, a video, you know, if y'all request it. But, uh, yeah. Excited about that. And last, but certainly not least, Peninsula. Now, this is the sequel of Train to Busan. I have been patiently waiting for this one. I haven't seen it yet, but I have seen Train to Busan. I, in fact, I, I own it. I mean, I mean, I have it over here. Now, I own these two. Now, if you haven't seen Train to Busan, um, I don't think you need to watch it to watch this one. Because I think, in my opinion, I think they're going for the uh, George Romero route where same universe but, you know, different people. I mean, I'm not sure. But uh, it seems that way. Um, but I highly recommend Train to Busan. It's honestly one of the best zombie movies, believe it or not. Which is, you know, a large claim considering how many classic zombie movies there are. But I would claim that this is on the same level as Romero, because it's really good. Very dramatic, well acted, practically a perfect film. So, yeah, I recommend it. But uh, Peninsula, haven't seen it. Can't wait to see it. It seems that it's a different film based on the scenes I've seen on uh, in the trailer. Seems like different tone, more action oriented. Let's see what happens, but... Uh, Looks pretty good. Can't wait to see it. And that is the end of my 4K Blu-ray Flex. Haven't done one of those in a while. But uh, yeah, that's all I bought. Well, I did buy The Irishman on Criterion, but I'm still waiting for that in the mail. And I also got the, uh, the new director's cut of The Godfather 3 and the theatrical cut as well but both um, uh, i'm also waiting for those to arrive in the mail too so yeah and on that note since you know it's christmas time everyone has fireworks and i'm i'm gonna head out 
So like always, like and subscribe and uh, please share this video and see you in the next one.